Recently, I just made a post and I wrote Nathaniel Bassi with a clap of a hand. And some people were just in the comment saying some things I don't understand. You see, okay, it's okay for you to have different opinions. At least you could see a post and then either ask questions or have an opinion. Areas are pretty clear. Express. I am so um, anti-competition in the body of Christ. It's clear in the Bible, Paul says, you comparing yourself to one another, you know, are not wise. Those who compare themselves with themselves are not wise. It's clear. You know, God has given such uniqueness to us. You know, he's a God of manifold grace. He's, the body of Christ is replete with graces. So, um, you know, the whole concept of the body explains it. You know, you have the head, you have the hand, you have the toes, and you have the eyes. And it, it becomes, um, you know, an error for the eye to say, you know what, I, I, I want to go into contest with the heart. You know, their roles are different. Their roles are different, you know, and with the leg or with the finger. So that's the way I view it. And then, when it comes, because I'm, I'm going to talk again about um, competition now, um, but to touch on collaboration, I believe that we are to collaborate. We had to come together, pull these graces together to advance the kingdom of God. So that's, that's, that's very fine with me. I've done quite a number of collaborations with other music ministers, you know, nationally and across the border and it's and when it's done in the spirit the impact is massive i mean um, re recently we had one with um, william mcdowell travis green somewhere in, in the u.s just releasing a, a sound and it's just been blessing the nations you know and then thirdly you mentioned um, voting yeah voting i'm anti-voting now i'll take it first from the um competition First, the Bible says, comparing yourselves with yourselves is not wise. I mean, look at it this way. If, if I say to people that a music minister is a minister of the gospel in songs, so you are a preacher that sings. Look at it that way. So you are, you are, you are a singing preacher. So imagine comparing having a reality show of two preachers. Let's, let's, okay, both of you preach and then we'll decide the winner. I mean, it just, it, 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 it sounds awkward. Awkward, you know. Um, however, in terms of our words, there is nothing wrong with a body of believers or a, a, an organization coming to recognize someone, you know, to say, you know what, we have felt your impact. We have accessed, we have assessed your 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 work your antecedents and we we feel um right we f we deem it fit that we want to recognize this by this award that's that's very okay that's very okay but to have two people singing right. in yeah. worship and first we always say that um our song is unto the lord right yeah. you know worship you know he's the audience so if he's the audience who is supposed to do the voting? The audience. He the audience, the right? One, yeah. So he's the one who's supposed to say you are the best, you are not the best. So um, when every time we begin to say this is the best worship song of the year, this is the best artist of the year, then we take the place of God. Because he, they were not singing to us in the first place. <clears throat> Man, celebrate this beauty. So they were not singing to us in the first place however i know that there's there's i mean there are other ways we can identify talent you know you know but i'm just really not in support of getting them to compete you know because in saying you are the best you are saying you're not good enough so and i've always said before if if some of the people who have blessed our lives competed they probably won't be here today someone like a dumb one he probably won't have won a singing competition because he doesn't do oh, oh. Uh, yeah. you know yeah. and those competitions <laughs> the winners are choose many times because of those those, those who, you know those ad libs and all so you see the things we 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 lose 
okay when we yeah, keep compete you know when we compete so i believe god can raise platforms for people if you serve if you are faithful god can open a door you know and sometimes it's just a process he hides you for a season for a season so right. you know which is what happened to me you know he puts you at the backside of the you know desert not because he doesn't want you to be seen but you know it's he's developing you character he's revealing himself to you all right in the old time before we had you know tech you know tech now advancing pictures were images were developed in the dark negative in the dark it's in the dark so he puts you there and then he's you know you are you are growing in grace you are growing in stature growing in wisdom and then he opens up that platform you know so there are ways in the kingdom that god raises his stars and interestingly, we're talking about the bright and morning stars. There are ways that God raises stars, you know. And so um, that's my take. I'm very anti-competition in the body of Christ. But I'm very pro-collaboration, you know. And then, you know, if when we have that competition, you know, and you go ahead to say, please vote for me, vote for me. When you won, I mean, if you end up winning, you, you, you voted for yourself. So you awarded yourself. <laughs> so it's not a really credible award. Uh, award. Uh, so, an award is what it is, is that you were given, you were presented, you were recognized. A body of people who thought, you know what, you are worthy of this. Of this. Uh, not that you said, okay, give me, give me, give me, give me. And then when you take it, you're like, wow. God oh, God, God has done it. He didn't do it. You <laughs> did it. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please, let's, let's appreciate that. Um, uh, General Nathaniel Bassi, like I said, uh, I, w I, w I, w I won't uh, forget that. Um, you, you, you have an outlook of an amazing, serious, uh, a really, really serious person. People think you don't have fun. Now, I don't want to put you, I hate, I want you to listen to me very well. Yes. I hate to put you pressure, but I know you love Barcelona. <laughs> I hate to put you under pressure, but I know you love Barcelona. Oh, I used to love Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> after, even, that, after that flogging. <laughs> so even Pastor Nat is saying that, no, he <sighs> hates to lose. All right? Uh, even though he's a Barcelona. And especially Lionel Messi fan. Right? Oh, yes. But what are the other things that you do for fun? I mean, show us the human side of you. Oh, no. I mean, I, I love to laugh. I, 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 I really like um, clean, healthy humor. Um... I mean, my, my youth church knows this. Uh, I crack them up as much as possible. I'm my wife's personal comedian, so oh, I like sweet. to... Sweet! <laughs> so I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite fun-loving. You know, I, when I have the time, I play soccer, you know, with the, with, with wow. the boys. But now you play soccer? Yeah, we had one with... Um, normally, every end of the year, we have one with um, music ministers. Tim Godfrey, um, Myro, um, Timmy, and all of these guys. We gather every end of the year to play soccer and just, you know, unwind. Uh, yes. Okay, okay. But I was really disappointed at the comment because of maybe the way people have been able to see my person as to what I do right here. Oh, everyone that became very good in singing went away from the choir. Everyone... They started in the poor, as far as they're concerned. But now God has proved them wrong. Now we've got the best singers in our choirs. That's what's happening now. Because that's the only one that the word of God supports. The Genesis to Revelation, there is no special music ministry. It does not exist. Don't let anybody deceive you. And you can't create a ministry for Christ. You can't. As far as the word of God does not support it, you can't have it. You can only deceive yourself with it. It's not in the Bible. All the singers were in the choir, in the Old Testament and in Revelation. That It dissolves, disappears. Their works are left with nothing. Wow, that was interesting listening to him because when I get to compare what happens in the church to let's say what happens in quote and unquote the world where we have like the Hades and the uh, which other one again? We have different awards right here. At least Nigeria, I know we have Hades, we have the BET, the, um, we have the, 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 the Afrima, we have different awards that gets to celebrate people, um, would I say, people that are 
I guess to celebrate people in the aircraft when it comes to entertainment. I asked myself a question, wait a minute for a moment. Is gospel music or would I say things that are done in the glory of God in church, is it some form of entertainment? When we worship God, is it entertainment? Now, I've seen worship songs that are being sung in church and people will be more of like, isn't, those a, isn't this a fusion between, you know, bringing in the way or would I say sounds and beats like from the world or something, if I'm to put it that way, into church for church people themselves to dance along to like a music like this. that was quite interesting good sound good composure the lyrics is all that matters i guess but when it comes to the sound of course what what reference point does that sound give you which is something i've talked about before like i think last two years on youtube but i want us to understand something right here focusing on just what nathaniel Elbati himself said i think he made a whole lot of sense when it comes to who the audience of what you do in the body of christ is is your audience god himself who gets to decide who is the best if god gets to decide himself who is the best or is the audience the public if the audience is you of course we can have an opinion to be more of like i love this song more than this song i like this sound more than this sound and all that but in the end it's all to the glory of god which i think makes a lot of sense so anytime you're watching like the hades the bet's and all that like i see right now <laughs> The video is struggling between he, Whiskey, and Bonner Boy, who, who are the ones that brought my piano to Nigeria and all that. I know what happens, like, really, really on social media here. It begins to make sense who the audience are because you see the audience themselves fighting in the comments and deciding this person came first, this person's feature, this person, this person's feature, this person. But when it comes to the body of Christ, I think it's supposed to be a different thing entirely where we are more collaborative. But even at that doing, doing so, we also have to be careful of our mixtures because as time goes on, I'm going to be telling you some things happening in America when it comes to the gospel music or the gospel artists and some things that are going on that even the Americans themselves are having issues with. But I would say for what Natalia Bassi said in this video is actually indeed worth worth noting. And if you're a Christian watching me and you are very selective and all that and someone that is your best and all, the question should be, of course, you are the audience consuming it, but the person that is singing, is this is the person singing to please you or is the person is singing to the glory of God? If the worship is accepted to but if the if the worship is acceptable to God. Elijah. 